the Second Amendment. Second Amendment. The right to bear arms. Except y'all, y'all seem to forget the uh, the other half of that that statement. The Second Amendment reads: A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. All right, that's the full statement. It's necessary to the security of a free state. What does that mean, huh? What does that mean? Well, let's let's think about it for a second. Let's go back to the revolutionary to the, to the revolution. America has just defeated a tyrannical government. They have just separated themselves from a tyrannical government. And their biggest fear right now, at this point in time, is becoming a tyrannical government. That is their greatest fear. And so what the Second Amendment is meant to do is in case, in the case of America, becoming tyrannical, the people have weapons and the tools necessary to overthrow the government just as they had overthrown England. So Christian, where are you getting at? All right, what are you talking about? What do you want? Okay, what does this have to do with Black Lives Matter and peaceful protesting? I have a question. Where are the Black Panthers? Where are the Malcolm X's? Where, where is the revolution? I'm looking at the news. Uh, I, I just, I just heard about Lafayette. What the, f what? How? Why? What? The, the president of the United States just opened fire on peaceful protesters because he wanted to do a photo shoot at a church that didn't even want him there. They didn't even, he didn't even announce that he was coming. He didn't let nobody know. He just walked in and said, clear these motherfuckers out. Bam, bam, bam. Like a thug. Like a fucking thug. And you, you... Calm down for a second. We're okay with that. We're just gonna be like, man, Peace, we're, we're just gonna keep peaceful protesting, man, and we'll it'll all change eventually. <laughs> you think this will end with Donald Trump? You're a fucking fool. A fool if you think that voting Joe Biden and will end this. Black Lives Matter emerged under Obama. <laughs> Alright? Yeah, Trump does suck though. I have to say. Trump impresses me with how poorly he can handle this situation. He should have just kept his fucking mouth shut. But I know he can't. I know he can't do that. I know he can't do that. And I know that he he will never support the cause. He won't. For the love of God, he got endorsed by the KKK. Can we all agree that Trump is racist now, by the way? Can we all agree on that now? Are you fucking crackers still want to defend him? Fucking idiots. Open fire on peaceful protesters. And the, the thought came to me. We had a Black Lives Matter protest here in Huntington. I didn't go to it, didn't want to. Just didn't want to. My cousin did. And the thought came to me, what if they tear gassed my cousin and shot her with pelts? How would I feel about that? And a, and, and a fury just erupted in me. <laughs> a great fury just erupted in me. A great fire burned in my chest. I'd burn the whole fucking city down. If they, they threw tear gas at my friends out there marching peacefully. Luckily, uh, protest here in Huntington was really just a bunch of white people <laughs> so we had no concern for that uh, we all know that when white people uh, uh, protest they uh, face little to no repercussions just look at those fucking idiots protesting 
against the, against the shutdown. They walked on the Capitol with guns. Was Donald Trump t t tweeting, talking about, talking about if there's looting, there's shooting. There's looting, there's shooting, you fucking moron. You're going to get shot in the fucking That's totally fine. We're open carry state. Um, but you just can't open carry while you're protesting. Right at the time, yeah. we're just using the first yeah. and the second simultaneously. Well, <laughs> but but see that that's the problem in North Carolina. So it's a so any law against the Constitution is yeah, null and void. So their North Carolina law really don't mean the right. I mean, it's against the Constitution. There's nowhere in the Constitution that you can only use one right at a time. No, constitutionally, what's the issue? He just happens to be hanging. So what about shall not be infringed? We're not understanding. We're only talking about. <laughs> State laws here. I don't right? give a damn about your state laws. Okay. Yes, Constitution, right. man. <laughs> right. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, if that's if that's how you feel. You swore no to the Constitution. Are you gonna uphold it? That's how you feel. All that right? is how I feel. All right. All right. No problem at all. Not just all me. Right. Millions of okay. us. Okay. Okay. No problem at all. Just trying to get some clarification. All right. That's and that's all we're trying to do is to clarify. This is my neighborhood. If you're from this neighborhood and you're trying to help me protect my neighborhood, then take off your masks. Let me see who you are. I mean. You want to shake you hands? Have a or, or are you, or are you, or are you just going to yell at us? Do you want to have a dialogue? Or are you just going to yell at us? No, constitutionally, what's the issue? He just happens to be hanging so out. What about yeah. shall not be infringed? We don't understand. We're only talking about yeah. state laws here. I don't right? give a damn about your state laws. Do you want to have a dialogue? Or are you just going to yell at us? Okay. 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 Less intimidated or more intimidated by the damn Hawaiian shirt, man. That to me is like, yeah, that guy came to party. He's having too much fun. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We got to dance. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. We have options. We could be very unpeaceful right now, but we're still choosing to be peaceful. Look at these motherfuckers. They're dressed like they're in the they're in the fucking Taliban. Look at that motherfucker in a trench coat looking like he about to shoot up a school. Are you fucking kidding me? They're not getting thrown to the concrete, knocked over with horses and shit. Getting tear gassed. <laughs> Why aren't they getting tear gassed? If anybody should be getting tear gassed, it's these motherfuckers. Head. Presidents have been killed for less. <laughs> oh, he is directly infringing on your First Amendment right, and you're still talking about peaceful protests? God have mercy. Did he have to use live ammunition? Did, do we need another Kent State? Where are the Black Panthers? Where's the Malcolm X? What are we doing? Okay, I think I did a really bad job explaining my point here. Let me explain. Uh, um, from what I understand, uh, peaceful protests with peaceful cops, basically, they don't get any news coverage. Nobody pays attention to it. Nothing changes, okay? Um, violent protesters, uh, violent cops, that basically has the reverse effect and people are like, oh my God, we need more law and order to keep these rioters in check, yada, yada, yada. You know the story. Uh, um, however, the mo so the most effective way of protesting is uh, essentially to be a martyr, uh, um, which is to say um, violent police, peaceful protesters. Now that's very hard to accomplish. For example, here in Huntington, there was a protest, a peaceful protest where absolutely nothing went wrong. Everything was perfect, everything was fun, everything was fun. Everybody had a great time. It was wonderful, from what I heard. Uh, and it got no coverage. Most people didn't even know there was a protest going on that day. Um, uh, I found out from my cousin. And uh, the protest was right around the corner from my house. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm trying to say is everyone out there who's doing peaceful protests, perfectly average, normal, boring, peaceful protest with the picket signs and you're all out there and you're having a picnic and the police officers are standing there eating their donuts, that shit isn't gonna cut it. 
that's not going to bring about change. It's not going to get any coverage. That's what they want you to do. They want you to walk in a line and with your signs, your pretty signs, and walk in a line like a bunch of fucking sheep. You need to do something big. You need to use... Now we have social media. See, I was see I, I took that I forgot to bring that into the equation with my with my with my thought process. I I, I, I was just thinking there's no way to have a peaceful protest with peaceful police officers and it be effective. But now we have social media. We can do big things now. We can we can get everybody together and, and lay on the fucking ground of the Manhattan Bridge and block it off. That's big. That's gonna get news coverage because that's 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 incredible, that's fantastical, that's that's you know that's on it. I in my head that was unrealistic. That's insane. That's what gets news coverage. Not your little picnics out there and you're all having a good time and everybody's hugging, and the police officers are sitting around rubbing their bellies because they just had a box of donuts. That's not gonna fucking cut it. You have to think this shit through. You have to get creative. You have to. You absolutely have to. You have to do something big. Walking around isn't enough. Walking around with signs and chanting, that isn't enough. And with the shit that's going on now, I don't understand how people aren't, aren't raising up arms. I don't even get it. Like I keep saying, where's the Black Panthers? What are we doing? Trump's declaring war, and we're out there with picket signs. Yeah, dude. What happened to Floyd was kind of wrong, dude. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There has to be more. There has to be more than that. It's not enough. I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough to just stand around empty, empty-handed while you get shot on by the police. Now, that doesn't mean I endorse the rioting. I think if you're going to get violent, I think it has to be focused. It has to be direct. It has to be explicit or else the message gets lost because the message is getting lost. They, they keep talking about how this is all for Floyd. It's all about Floyd. They're rioting for Floyd. Don't put that on his fucking name. Do you know how disrespectful that is? Don't put that on his fucking name. No, 80% of people are looting because they see an opportunity. Because I don't know if you didn't know this, but we're going through a pandemic and people can't pay the rent. It's <laughs> probably why they're looting. You know, it's more than Floyd. It's more than him. It's more than Black Lives Matter. It's a, it's an accumulation of everything, everything. The income inequality, the shitty health care system, the shitty justice system, our government acting like a fucking bunch of fucking morons, a pandemic. It's an accumulation of everything. This has been building up for years. Incompetent. An incompetent government. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I live in Huntington, West Virginia. Surrounded by a bunch of white people. This issue doesn't directly affect me, if I'm going to be honest. And I know the issue doesn't have to directly affect you, but I mean, we had one protest here. We had one protest, and that's it. And it was really just to show, I don't know, support, I guess. And it was a bunch of white people out there marching. So, black, you want to talk about a black community? Are there even enough black people in West Virginia to have a community? <laughs> if I'm going to be 100% honest, uh, every encounter I've had with the police has been perfect. It's been fine. Every encounter around here. Maybe if I was in, uh, I don't know, Alabama, Atlanta, Lafayette, I'd, I'd pull something together. But I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. This has been interesting because it's, 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 this has uh, caused me to take a deeper look at my character and think about who I am as a person. 
because a part of me feels like I need to do something. A bigger part of me doesn't want to do anything. And uh, another part of me is like, well, can I do anything? I don't think I can. What can I do? So I'm stuck here in Huntington, West Virginia. The 1% black population. <laughs> but yeah, that's all.